we're done. ChatGPT is the best image generation tool as of now. I played with it a lot and I'll show you some of these examples. I'll show you the creation firsthand. And of course, we're going to see some of the ways in which you can make money with this one. But honestly, they nailed it. They just nailed it. And you know what's the best part? You don't have to use any specific prompts. You know how it goes with Midjourney, all of these, Dali, whatever. You have to be specific with the prompt. You have to be more detailed. Well, with this version of ChatGPT, you don't have to. I took this image from Pexels, right? You know Pexels, a place where you can just get a lot of images for free. So I took this picture and I made this prompt, as you can see, natural language prompt. I want this image made into cartoon art and I got this, right? So that's the first example, but have a look at this. I took these two images from Pexels, just a simple crazy product picture. And then I just took this table from Pexels as well and I made this prompt, put that product on that table, realistic output. And well, you be the judge, how? does it look like? It took the entire product, even these little drops here, and then just put it on a table. Now, this is a good product image because this up here wasn't so good, right? I want to sell this product, for example, and I just wanted to place this as a mock-up and this is the output. It's just too good, too good, too fast. And the prompt was just put this product there. Now, this opportunity alone opens up a lot of opportunity for us because, well, there's a lot of e-commerce owners, right? They want these kind of images, but that's just one way. Let me show you something else. I took this picture from Pexels as well. It's a card, whatever, and I just made this prompt. Create an ad image out of this photo. And as you can see, it can write on it. It uses Flux probably because you see the text is all good. It has a website down there. It's crazy. And even the picture looks more, you know, more punchier, probably because I put this ad in the prompt, right? Now have a look at this. This is just crazy. I took this picture from Pexels once more, and I just put a hat here. This is a weird extension, so you can't see it right here, but you can see it here. Put this hat on that person, realistic image, please, and just take a look at this. It's too good. Then I went one step further. I just wanted to make this person look into the camera and just have a look at this. The same person, the same hat, the same everything. Now this person is just looking into the camera. It's just good. This removes the need for models. This removes the need for photo shoots. It's over. I mean, yeah, you could say that I took this picture from Pexels and that person, you know, it was a model at first, but I could create this model with ChatGPT only, and then I could just play with it, put the hat on it, put the shirt on it, put the phone in its hand. It's really good. Then you can play it this way. You can make the entire image in Ghibli style. This one, I can turn into this with a simple prompt, right? So you can play with cartoons as well, as we've seen in the first image of that dog. And then of course, you can play with longer prompts. So a fantasy image of a dragon breathing fire on a Tokyo street with a lot of people around, and then you get the output like this, or I can just play like this, now make people run away, and then you can see this as just like from some kind of a comic or something like that. This opens up a lot of opportunity as well. It's just too good. The reactions of people are also too good. Now let's create something together. Let's just go with create an infographic about why global warming is bad. And now you will just see it in action live. Now, what I noticed is that it is not too fast. It is not like Midjourney. It is not like Dali. It's a bit slower, but the results are worth it. And here it is. This is the output. It's just perfect. The text is good. The context is good. The only thing that is bad is global warming. Now let's talk about some ways in which you can make money with this one. But please, before we start, do have in mind, this is not a get rich quick scheme. But if you have any interest in it, if you want to play with it, if you want to explore and create images and make money with it, it's going to be too good for you. And you can make this a side hustle, potentially even a full job down the line. But that is way down the road. You have to have that in mind. I don't want to tell you that you can make like a million dollars out of it tomorrow because you can't. But one thing is for sure. There's a lot of demand for these kind of things. On Fiverr only, there's a lot of demand for custom AI images. 
people want to make something like this out of their pets, right? And there's a lot of AI images just like this. There's a lot of demand for product images. And this is going to be the bread and butter. Because if you offer something like this to people, well, they will just love you. And usually the principle is going to be the same. They're just going to give you the product and the image as a mock-up. And then you're going to go on to make something like this. And for example, this person is charging $300 for three images. That's just crazy. Also, there's a lot of demand for these face swapping things. This is a simple job and you get $15 for each one of these images. And in a world where there's too many clothes, this niche is going to be perfect. $35 for three images, front image, back image, one pose. And that is exactly what we did with this one. Now, even if you don't want to go with freelancing, I strongly recommend that you go on Fiverr, you go on Upwork because you never know how much clients you will get there as well. Just like that, just by being there. And because this is a new thing and you've got the perfect tool for it, well, there's a lot of demand and there's a lot of people who are going to be your potential clients. But more than that, you need some sort of marketing if you want to take this one step further. And I always recommend Instagram. Instagram, well, it just has a lot of traffic. And it's a great way to showcase your work, just like this person here. They just showcase the pictures that they make. They showcase the videos as well. But what is more important is that they put a link in the bio here leading to something that they sell. So you can use Gumroad as well. Gumroad is a place where you can sell whatever you have in mind. But you can easily just use Linktree in order to lead that traffic to wherever you like. For example, you can lead it to your Fiverr gig. You can lead it to your website, to your blog, whatever. And it's a simple free Lincoln bio tool and you can just Google for it like this. Marketing is so important, especially if you go with the next one. And the next one is print on demand. Think t-shirts, think stickers, phone cases. The place where you can sell these is Etsy, of course. This is going to take more time. This is going to take more dedication and, of course, a lot of patience. But you can see one sticker that you make only once is $2. Phone cases are just too good. $22 for a simple phone case. And don't let me talk about how simple it is to make this with ChatGPT. What's even better is that Redbubble, Printful, Print On Demand, any print on demand website is gonna print these and they're gonna ship it for you. It will take a cut, of course, but the only thing that you have to do is to make the design. So they will print the item, they will buy the item that they will print it on, and they will just ship it to your customer. This is how you make it. Create a flower pattern, for example. You can create whatever you want, but in this case, I'll go with flower pattern. I want to use it for print on demand, gonna put it on a phone case. That's it. The result is gonna look like this. All you have to do is to download the image. Make yourself an account on Redbubble. Click here, click on sell your art, click on add new work button here, and then all you gotta do is to upload that image here. Now, when it's uploaded, I just want to show you how the phone case will look like. Here down there, you have the phone case, but you have to edit this a little bit. And one little trick that I use is to choose a pattern here, which is a regular grid. If you click on it, now you can see how it's going to look like. You can scale the image, so you can just make these flowers smaller, or you can just make these flowers bigger. And this can be sold for $20 at least. This is a viable strategy, but by far my favorite one is to create yourself something like a YouTube channel with pictures. You get the script from ChatGPT, you get the images from ChatGPT, and you're just gonna have to get the voiceover from 11 Labs, let's say. And then you just edit all of that together, just like this channel right here. Just have a look at it. This channel, I can't play the videos, unfortunately, but you can just see that these are all just the pictures. We'll have, we'll just zoom in, zooms out, you know, it just goes, from the right hand side of the screen to the left hand side of the screen and they have script as well they have the voiceover but this is for kids i wanted to show you this channel because this channel doesn't have a lot of subscribers this means that this channel is a fairly new one it has 27k subs but this channel as you can see right here it gets around four thousand dollars per month and they don't have a lot of views they have you see 7k views 18k views 40k views, 50k views, it's not a lot of views. But once again, it's not going to be a get rich quick scheme. If you want to go with YouTube, it's going to be the best money that you can possibly have. But it's going to be long term and it's going to require a lot of work. But hey, 
you've got tools, you've got the perfect image generation tool. And if you enjoy what you do, it's going to be a breeze. But one question is important. It's not what do you want to do with your life? It's what do you want to do with your day? If you add day by day, if you work on day by day, your life is going to be better. So turn off distractions, put that phone away, put those games away, eat well, sleep well, and you'll have to get up earlier. Just get up earlier while no one is awake and start doing it. Two hours per day is all you need. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.